7 o'clock this morning we had a frame that had its thrusters fitted and over the previous two days we had some pipe bending happening so that all the fixed hard piping is now installed. We basically eyeballed in these pipes. Now they're in, Jason and myself and Bickham are going back and updating drawings to make sure that these pipes are now all captured in our final drawings for the, for the actual vehicle. Somebody else should be able to take our drawings and if this pipe fractures, have another one made. And what we don't want is to reduce the efficiency of the propulsion system by filling this area full of pipes. At one side of the thruster, we're creating a negative pressure with water, and the other side, we're creating a positive pressure, and then the vehicle will start to move. So if we can keep that whole area clear, or as clear as we can, and then you know, it's a much more efficient propulsion system. The idea of this vehicle is it's modular. If we mechanically fix everything, such as welding it, then we can't get it off. So we've modularized the system such that the Marine Ops guy should be able to take nearly anything that's on this vehicle, take it off and replace it. So that's why when you see everything being bolted, it's for ease of maintenance and replacement. Here are actually the cores from our pressure housing, grade 5 titanium that we trepanned out um, and made those two pods. Wherever we see a space, we've provided mounting holes or a mounting system. So the whole lattice work that you see allows a scientist to mount an instrument without drilling holes to your frame. And we haven't allowed anything to be box channels so all the water can get out the frame because when we pick the, the vehicle up, we don't want any of this structure to be holding water. Plus it's also a structure that holds all of our mechanical systems like our manipulators. And now we're putting it together, we can see that she's really tied together quite tight. We have problems with it, we want to be able to change those components over relatively quickly. Six bolts, those manips are off in a box and sent off for repair. And that's why we modularize as much of this as we possibly can so that the engineers have a fighting chance to, to fault find it.